Hi, this is just a quick walkthrough to cache and surf uh, node. So all you need to do is to add cache surf into the stream where you want to export your files or your sim. Uh, here I have just a quick Houdini sim, nothing special. And I'm going to do some wedge uh, sims as well. So I'm going to call this smoke cache for, to start with. So what I want here, I want to load it from disk. Uh, I'm not going to do that line. I'm going to talk about later. Uh, I want to export Geo, then to export Flipbook, and I want montage as well. Uh, I need to add camera. It's simulation, so I want to go frame by frame. Uh, frame rate is fine. It's going to be called smoke cache, like here. Uh, it's going to be saved here into the cache folder. And it's this is version one. So as I want to do a play blast, uh, it's gonna do play blast based on where the the blue flag is, display render, or you can do output, which I recommend, and it will play blast this node regardless if you're doing something like this or you're previewing this. It's gonna do play blast of output. So I'm going to wedge uh, maybe for uh, six versions. And uh, I want to wedge maybe disturbance. So I'm going to go copy parameter. And then under the wedge, I'm going to add new one and take this box on, paste other, paste absolute reference. Delete everything, but leave just uh, like this. Just a path. It's gonna give you some errors, which is fine. Uh, attribute name, you can name it however you want. I like to name it in the same way, so it's gonna be disturbance here. And I want values from maybe 1 to 55. Then I'm gonna add another one, and maybe I'm gonna wedge this time um, amplitude of this velocity. So the same thing, you can copy parameter, then Go here, paste other, absolute reference, delete everything here, just leave the, the link. Uh, let's call it, it's called dear line amplitude, which is, yeah, so I can call it velocity. Uh, here is default, it's number, it's amplitude it's two, so I'm gonna try maybe between one and three. And uh, let's try maybe maybe some turbulence. For turbulence, we can do something else, something different. So we can try to call this uh, maybe turb. It's going to be zero in the beginning. But we can add here, we can add just turb without, without uh, at, so just, just turb. Uh, values between 0 0.25 and let's say 1. Um, if it's random sample, it's going to give you six values between these num two numbers and it's totally random. If you turn this off, the first wedge will be 0 0.25, the last one will be number 1, and everything will be between will be, you know according to something in between. So turbulence, velocity, and disturbance. So we can wedge those three parameters. Let me see if I forgot something. So yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to run the sim now. And here we can see something is going on. So we have six wedges, and we can see here that it's spitting out cache and writing on the disk. And we can open folder here. So it's small cache. It's called the same way as uh, the node. We have version one. We have wedge zero. 
and we can see our cache and now after the the first one is done then it's going to be uh, version number one then version number two until wedge number five because we're wedging six times so i'm going to pause this now and uh, we'll take it from there okay so now the cache is done and we have uh, eight work items six for six wedges and two are for the video usually the first two are for the video and then this is a wedge zero one two three four and five so six wedges we can see the difference between them you can preview here from the, from the timeline from this node uh, if we double click we can see the values so this wedge number three has uh, velocity 2.2 turbulence 0 0.7 this is disturbance um, wedge number zero has these values so it's easy to to see uh what what values are going to give you what results and also you can find here in the folder so smoke cache version one there's six wedges with cache inside and then also uh, you you can find in uh, vault folder it's going to be the saved keep file after the cache is uh, exported which is good if you have like 10 versions and you want to go back to version 7 it's easy to just pick up this file run sim again if you deleted all the caches and uh, you're sure that everything will be same as in the flipbook and uh, flipbook will be saved in ptg magic then small cache version 1 uh, flipbook so flipbook 0 is uh, obviously 0 First zero, first the wedge, number zero. And uh, this is how it looks like. Then we have like uh, flipbook four. So every wedge will have its own flipbook. And obviously different result. And also in uh, text from flipbook, it's basically a flipbook with, um, with stamped values. Like so, so you have uh, wedge number two, version one, uh, was most the turbulence, velocity disturbance, all your wedge parameters. And uh, so it's text from the book four, the previous one was uh, number two. So it's gonna look something like this, different result. Uh, and uh, you have montage version which will give you something like this so all versions together and you can see what values will give you what results and also in um, in Playblast folder, you have two video files. One video file will be text from the book followed one by one. So wedge zero, one, two, three, four, five, and then everything will be in one video. And the same thing as the sequence. So here will be six wedges all together. So someone likes to see as a video if you want to send to supervisor or someone, or you can preview as a sequence. So from the other settings, if uh, if we go to uh, text overlay, text size 20, uh, if we increase this number, the text size will increase here as well. And um, channel name one, channel name one will refer to the uh, wedge wedging. So this will be channel name one, channel name two, channel name three, and uh, value as well. So in this case, turbulence, uh, we'll be go here and then uh, what what's the value will go here and so on so this will be channel name three here semi uh, column and the value so if you have more than five you can edit manually or uh, if you don't like this you can just delete four and five And also, 
if you go to video uh, frame per second just try to match the frame per second of the project and that's pretty much it all the other settings i will cover in the next video thanks for watching